you have a girlfriend besides BSJ? I do, yes. Okay, I uh, guess, remind me after this game. <laughs> uh, that we're gonna do the replay analysis. Just like, a little talk through, not that much, not that, not, not like hugely Kazoo-like insightful. Where I give away all the circuits to winning Dota 2 by Master Kazoo. Just like a little, little infos here and there, you know? Show toenail cam, please? Toenail cam? What the fuck is happening? <clears throat> fuck the draft. This is gonna get uploaded to... To the YouTube, guys. Okay? Stand on the right side, guys. There is a specific spot where all the creeps go to the left side. Thus getting a better block. I only get this like half the time because I'm not very good at this game. But if you're like someone like, I don't know, Bulba, then you will get it like 100% of the time. Here you kind of just want to maximize your remnant usage. So each remnant... I saw that. Each remnant you want to get like... At least one CS, preferably two. Sometimes like you can get like two melees on the range, that's like perfect. But yeah. Or you uh your remnant gets your remnant gets the creep and you can auto attack him for it a few times. Yeah, so he, here pretty much I have the lane on my hill. And he's he's like he's pretty pretty sad right now. Level two level two, so no level uh, level two type bringer. He has two creeps hitting him, and I'm hitting him. It's not an easy position. That's a very that's a very cheeky aggro pull right there. On the way back, you tick aggro pull it up the up the hill, so you have lane control for the next wave again. Here again, you get the creeps of remnant, then you hit him. Here you can use uh, other lanes, other lanes to aggro pull the creeps. If you don't have a ward mid or if you don't have vision of him right now, you click on heroes in other lanes to aggro pull. He actually misplayed here. He can just torn like here. You're fine. Kind of a yikes. No more bits in the in the YouTube vid. Yeah, here, I mean, you can just play off the rune pretty much. Dive him if you get the chance. Good counter to Morphling mid, Brute Mother. Now here I'm trying to trying to get the runes. When do you max Q or E in lane on Storm? If you wanna, if you're playing like a harassing lane, you should max E. If you're playing more to farm, then um, you should max Q. Like let's say you're playing against a Viper, I would 100% go like three one one. You know, just push up the lane, go stack and farm. Um yeah, so here. I go back mid. Or the gank top here. You think that TP should have been to tower? No, definitely not. That was way too low. I think you wanna be TP. You wanna be. Like, you wanna be healthy and have a lot of mana when the TP is like back up, like right now. Could have dodged that, but it doesn't really matter. I'm actually really happier because boat is like boat is 80 second cooldown. So I feel really good about this exchange. This pretty much means that Kunka cannot do anything with this rune. Ah, clear 
I think I want to get a kill top here. Doesn't work out though, so I'm back to farming. Let's say you storm with Lena, you go farm build? Yeah, I think I would go farm build 3 1 1. I'm just like annoying him here, trying to get the rune. But thought test there. Treads, good for storm? Sometimes. I think if you go treads, uh, you want to go bloodstone. But I think if you want to rush Orchid, then I think Brown Boots is better. Just because you have it faster than. So this game I decided to go Orchid. Because I had a very good start. Um, generally, you can go Arcane Boots into Bloodstone. It is good for fighting because you have a lot of mana, but this game, um, since I got a good start, a good lane, and a kill mid, I decided to go for Orchid. It's pretty value this game, I'd say. So yeah. That, that pretty much means you want to make like a few moves before Orchid, then farm your Orchid, and then gank a lot more. The shard? Mm. I think it's okay. If you have the talent on 25, the overload attack bounce, I think it's okay. So yeah, right now I'm just rising, you know? Here yeah, you heal up. I have the Orchid, 11 minute Orchid, really good timing. Okay. Who would who who would you guys go for here? I don't even remember who I went on. No spells. This guy is casting his spell. This guy is I don't know what the fuck. This guy's dead. This guy's in the arena. I don't know what the fuck PA is, he's bottom blurred. I would go DP. If I know me, then I definitely go DP. Or we call it that we want to kill these two and then get out. Then I'd probably go for Tusk. But I think DP. DP is definitely the right player. No, well, I guess not. Then we're not chasing. Yeah, fuck it. I think that's why I didn't go on him, actually. I don't think he dies. He might. Ah, it's gonna be super tight, though. Honestly. It's gonna be fucking, fucking close. If he has strength threats, I this is pretty much just coddle things. I literally just have to press buttons here and they die. Why did you get the late wand? When I buy Orchid, I usually don't want to buy any unnecessary items before I actually buy Orchid. That means I don't want to buy fucking PTs, I don't want to buy wand, I don't want to buy more than one, no, I don't want to, I don't fucking know. Just nothing. You just want the orchid, fight, and then get more items. Okay. You guys got that or what? Good. And here, yeah. I buy BKB because BKB is a good item. Uh, I was gonna check here actually. I thought they were really close. I was super scared going for this. Battle free storm, always great. Here, Aiden's fucking blasting my waves. There was a time in Dota where Windrunner bought Battle for you first. Kuroki. The man. And then everyone did it too. Mid Dark with Axe Rush? No, but I see it. I think Dark Souls good hero. Alright, let's watch that back, shall we? <laughs> There is one problem this team fight. Do you guys see it? One problem. Anyone know? 
Do you get VIP'd if you... If you... Yeah, there it is. Low mana. Thank you. VIP'd. First guy who said it. The players are the problem. Low mana, yes. I should have healed before this fight. I have TP. We don't have recall though, so I think that's that's why. Who would you guys go for here again? No, fuck no, man. I already fucking went. <laughs> Yikes. He has no EXO running, so I went for him. <laughs> I think I Oh, that was so unlucky actually I was so slow there Fucking boomer hands I farm jungle with no HP and no mana Classic Being fucking greedy Do you always take right talent on level 10? Um, no, it's actually I think with the orchid timing, I like the overload damage. <coughs> um, I think if you're going more for the bloodstone build, like the you're actually dealing more damage with mana and zip, then I like the mana region more. I generally take Stalagram damage though, because I'm greedy as fuck. I see people like Quinn, Dota too, take health. But yeah, usually I take uh, random damage. I think. 80% of the games, I take right, 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 and then it's kind of a gamble. Usually left, but sometimes, if I'm feeling it, if I'm feeling the axe and the shard, you can take the right talent. You play any other games beside Dota? Uh, Fortnite poggers. 1v1 one one against Quinn Dota? What hero, though? SF? Alright, sure. <laughs> uh, dude, we're, we're in Singapore soon. Then, then we play, okay? We play in Singapore, alright? And record it for the people. So yeah, I think at this point, I have Aegis, I have BKB. I am literally unkillable. Oh, actually, there's, there's one cool fight. I wanna, sh I wanna, I wanna look at it again. Bop, and then. Boxy gets like the best arena of his life, dude. Oh my god, this was like, oh, you activated my trap card. Anyway. <laughs>